Seeking true following feet that are directed towards lies, sustained by sand, ready to slide at any time. Things unseen by the naked eye, controlling lives with venomous ideologies, listening to Dawkins' descriptions of deleting the idea of deprivation, claiming it's all a delusion. Gandhi engulfs us in the sense of the ocean of goodness that honestly is dye-stained and this condition remains. Seems like everyone's getting understanding from those who are still figuring it out themselves. Living in a world of confusion that claims they provide clarity. And words don't hurt, right? Yet some people can't put into words the deep scars imprinted in their memory from the mouths of their childhood bullies. Absolute truth is now non-existent, yet many claim themselves to be true. Believing a temporary high is what you call the good life doesn't apply when standing over the lifeless body of a 16-year-old friend. Looking at the motionless face that speaks volumes of life lived as though he had the world of days. Things all of a sudden begin to change. There's atheists, agnostics, and then a complete idiot for thinking there's more. Creating art to try and explore what's worth devoting to. Explore. Empty-handed, explicit, purposeful, looking, and renewed error. Creative, creation, art. Compelling reflections on the everlasting creative word that writes truth on bruised and ill-used hearts creatively creating new creatures out of corpses, rescuing the ruined, love that knows the numbers of hairs on the head of those who pluck the hairs from his beard, nails driven into the hands of innocence for the corrupted, guiltless given for the guilty, screams of affirmation though in agony to appease wrath and comfort the aggressive afflictors, free but not cheap, tears shed for the apathetic, truth, yes truth crushed with lies, scrutinised and despised for the blind. This I behold and recite that truly they have become fools who profess to be wise. <laughs> 